Hi guys, let's go down to pattern focus and find the next pattern of the day. Come on, pattern focus. Oh goodness, what's it doing? You never know what this phone's going to do. Sorry about that. Banners. Oh, this one's always fun. Excuse me, let me adjust my curtains. Light was bouncing in my eye, so I couldn't see very well. Okay, banners. Banners is always fun to do. It's super simple to do this. Uh, yeah, super simple. Okay, so click on there. Come on, nice and big. There we go. So you can use it to fill a space or whatever you want to use it for. First step is to draw a wandering S-like shape, sort of a snake. Draw yourself a little snake. Step number two, going straight down or at an angle, if you want to do it at an angle, uh, draw lines starting from like from here, that's at the end, right? But here's right where the where the curve changes direction. Right there, go straight down, straight down. Right where the curve changes direction. And if you run into something, then that's where you stop. Okay. And then, if you want to do more than one layer, then on top of this one, do this one. Another squiggly wiggly. And then go down until you hit a something. And so forth and so on. And then you can in here, in this space, you can either put little stripes to make it look like gray, or you can color it in. Um, here, Ina has done it uh, colored. Looks like she's colored digitally, and she's put them in different colors on top of one another. So let's do this. This is awesome. This is a fun one to do and it's going to be kind of short because it's easy to do. Okay, so find me a piece of paper. You know what? I'm going to do it on this, on this copy dyed page. I'm going to turn on my light. You guys remember this copy dyed thing? Yeah, let's do it on here and um, make some interesting things happen here. Uh, I'm gonna make sure my light is all the way up. I think I'm gonna draw in a brown pen. So let me find my brown pen over here. Brown, this one. And I'm going to, with my pencil, I'm going to figure out, I'm going to make a border. I'm just going to do just these. Uh, normally I would use this in a, a tile that has a variety of different things going on. Um, well, maybe I will. Maybe I'll do a variety of something here. I'll follow that line to make that sort of a, a thing. And then I'll do these banners up here, coming downward onto this. I think that's what I'll do. All right. This was not the colored pen I thought I was getting. I thought I was getting the darker brown. Well, that's okay. You can see it fine. Let me do this. I'm going to follow that curve. So that's going to be a thing. What kind of thing? I don't rightly know, but it's going to be a thing. And then we're going to needs to go
like that. I didn't do that very well. My S's are going a weird direction, but I still do it anyway. We're just going to go straight down from where it curves until it hits something. So my banner is waving the other <clears throat> excuse me, waving the other direction. At least this one is. Okay. Let's do this again. Just wiggly S's. And these two happen to kind of fall on top of each other, but that's okay. Straight down, straight down, straight down, like that. It's hard for you to see it. I probably should not have picked this particular tile. Maybe I should have done with a with a lighter color. Let's try that. Let's try drawing with something brighter. Let's see. Let's see if this works on this paper. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to try a decorese pen in a baby blue. And I'm going to see if I'd go over this, if you can see it better. Not really. Maybe. I'm going to fill in that spot. You guys can't see that either. Well, this was not a bright move on my part because of this. Yeah, that coffee dyed page is... I'm not giving up because it's not any good because it's good. You just can't see it. So, I'm going to switch gears here. I still might leave it in the baby blue though. Does it, how does it look? No, I don't, I'm not sure you guys can see it. All right, back to, back to black. Back to black. Okay, we're gonna start again on a square. Give me a nice border, something like that. Oh, I got really close to the edge. That's okay. And then I'm going to do my wiggly ass shapes. Once again, I went backwards from the thing, but that's okay. And I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do my wiggly ass shapes first. See? Wiggly ass shapes. A bunch of them. Okay, some going one direction, some going the other. Maybe I'm going to do some down here too. All right, now I've got wiggly S shapes all over my page. Perfect. Now I'm going to decide which direction is it living. Is it living that way? Yeah, it's going to live this way. Okay. So that's going to be my down toward you guys. 
but I'm gonna I'm gonna draw upside down because that makes it easier for me to see it what I'm doing right here and I'm just gonna go toward the bottom starting at anywhere where the curve changes direction okay and then I just stop whenever I encounter something that stops my pen. Just like that. Look how easy that is. So yeah, it's gonna look like I'm drawing upside down because I really am. I'm standing way over to the side. I'm not too sure why I've decided that that's what I need to do, but anywhere where it changes direction, just go toward the bottom or the side. You can, you know, these can be, these can be this way. They don't have to be that way. You just have to remember to just go wherever your curve changes direction. That's where you want to make your little line. No matter what. Like that. Perfect. Now you can uh, go in here and fill in this with a stripey and that makes it appear to be more gray like it's shaded. Oh, I just did that in the wrong curve. You want to start? Oh no, that's right. That's right. Those two overlap because I had such a big spot there. Girls behind me finally gave up the ghost with the music. Thank God. Maybe their parents have come to get them. They're not bad neighbors. But when they turn on that music, it's super loud. Let's see. This feels like it needs something there, but not there. I don't know. That one looks funny. It's for sure this one. Needs to be in here.
like that. I had that problem down here too, where I overlapped two of them like that. Okay, so now I want some shading. Let's let's sign it and put the name, which was what banners. Is that what it was? I believe so. Come on! I don't want to f call anybody. What are you doing? No. B a n n e. And now I'm going to do a little shading. So, where'd my pencil go? So, where do I want to shade? I want to shade on this side, right? Start with that. That's where I want to shade. A little bit in there and a little bit here. Like so. And it needs some here, where that's overlapping that one, right? Yes. Like that. Yes. That's what it needs. Okay. So it needs here, and here, and here, and then here. And here, and there, and there. Okay, what should we talk about while I'm shedding? I don't know. You guys getting ready for Christmas? This video will go up, I think at the end of November. I think I'm actually drawing this Thanksgiving week, but I think it comes out next week. I'm pretty sure. You guys, Black Friday shoppers, I am not. I happen to have it off, but that's because I work on Thanksgiving Day. Um, or I did work on Thanksgiving Day. You'll be watching this after Thanksgiving. Um, yeah. I saw a really good uh, Facebook meme that said uh, had a had a cashier who was working and a customer who said. Oh, you have to work on Thanksgiving or Christmas. Insert your favorite holiday here. Um, you guys, you should be home with your family as they're checking out. Really? Yes, you're right. We should be home with our families. But you're the one standing in line buying stuff at my cash register. And the reason that I'm at a cash register on a holiday is because you people come out and you buy stuff on the holiday. If you all would stay home, not just feel sorry for me, but actually stay home, 
the retailers would not open their doors because people would not be there. It, it used to not be um, the thing for retailers to be open on holidays. And so the first time retailers did open on holidays, it wasn't very profitable because nobody was used to shopping on a holiday and they stayed the freak home. If you really cared about cashiers and whether or not that they have to work on a holiday, guess what? Stay the freak home. That's my rant. It really bugs me. Don't come shopping and then tell the cashier that's checking you out, Oh, you should be home with your family. I'm so sorry you have to work on the holiday. Don't do that. It's annoying to those of us who are working on the holiday. It really is. Now, if you want to say thank you, I will totally take a thank you. Thank you for being here on the holiday. I will totally take that. But don't do the whole pity thing because you're the reason that I have to be there. That's my rant. Alrighty, there we go. There's banners. Super easy. Oh, I think I need to highlight. I definitely need to highlight. Let me, let me get my, my little stick thingy that I bought. Where is it? Here. Because my, my white pencil is getting very short. Very, very short. I, I almost can't look at it. It's, it's smaller than my tile. It's getting very short. So I'm going to put it in my little holder thingy. Oops, wrong end. It has two ends for two different sizes of pencils. So i got to put it on the right end or it won't hold. Look at that. Now my pencil is long enough for me to hold comfortably. Oh, oh, that's lovely. I love me a white pencil on a tanned paper. You guys know that, but. And because I did some of my S's going one way and some going the other, some of my, some of my banners are flying a different direction, but that's all right. Look at that. Look at what it does. It's awesome. Doesn't take much to make me happy. So yeah, I was saying I have uh, have the day off for it doesn't look great. Looks like it needs more shadow. I missed a shadow section. I have the day off on Black Friday. But I will not go out and shop on Black Friday. That's that's just crazy. Craziness. There's very few times that we've ever done that. Um, a couple years ago, my husband got up and stood in line at Bass Pro to get a outdoor smoker, one of those you know, meat smokers, kind of like a barbecue, um, for my son for Christmas. He said that's the last time he ever gets up and stands in line again. And that was just a Bass Pro, which was not one of the crazier places to go. Walmart, Target, oh my gosh. We were next door to a Target at the other store I was at. Yeah, that was crazy. People lining up the night before and camping out overnight. There is nothing freaking... Uh, I, I, I guess I'm just not a consumer in that way. I, I mean, I love my stuff, but I don't love my stuff that much. <laughs> there is nothing worth spending the night to get. The last thing I spent the night to get was my house. Now that was worth it because that was back in the day where we were having a housing shortage and when new housing developments opened a new tract, which is what we bought, um, you did. You spent the night so that you'd be 
have a, a, a chance of getting a house um, when they open the, the new phase in the morning. So that's the last time I spent the night to buy anything. And I think that was worth it. That was almost 30 years ago. Okay, there we go. Now I love it. I loved it before. I love it more now. Okay, you guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. I need to stop and have some lunch. Yes, it's noon. It's time for some lunch. And I will be back to finish this week off. Maybe get a start on next week. I hope because I've got a boatload of drawing to get done so that when the holidays start coming and they're going to come hard and fast, there's going to be days, weeks where I don't have not even one hour to draw. So I got to get it all done on my few days off on this next week. So you guys have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Go out and do something nice for someone today. And um, yeah, be, be kind to your cashiers, please. See ya. Bye-bye.